Hello and welcome. Fokker aircraft have been popular passenger aircraft in Western Australia ever since 1959 when McRobertson Miller Airlines imported their F-27 and F-28s. Co-founder of MMA, Horry Miller, was passionate about his Fokkers and said that their high set wings were just like those of birds, unlike the low set wings of the DC-3. Who was Fokker? Anthony Herman Gerard Anthony Fokker was a Dutch aviation pioneer, aviation entrepreneur, aircraft designer and aircraft manufacturer. He was most famous for the fighter aircraft he produced in Germany during the First World War, such as the Eindecker monoplanes, the DR-1 triplane and the D-7 biplane. After the Treaty of Versailles forbade Germany to produce aircraft, Fokker moved his business to the Netherlands. There, his company was responsible for a variety of successful aircraft, including the Fokker F-73M trimotor, a passenger aircraft of the interwar years. Later authors suggested he was personally charismatic, but unscrupulous in business and a controversial character. He was born in the Dutch East Indies, now Indonesia. When he was four, the family returned to the Netherlands. Fokker was not a studious boy and did not complete his high school education. However, he showed an early interest in mechanics and experimented with model aeroplane designs. Fokker's first interest in flight stemmed from Wilbur Wright's exhibition flights in France in the summer and autumn of 1908. In 1910, aged 20, Fokker was sent by his father to Germany where he studied at the Automotive College in Mainz, where aviation subjects were taught. That same year, Fokker built his first aircraft, the Spin, or the Spider. He gained his flying certificate in his second Spin aircraft. In his own country in 1911, he became a celebrity by flying stunts. In 1912, Fokker moved near Berlin, where he founded his first own company, Fokker Aeroplan Bau. At the outbreak of World War I, the German government took control of his factory. Fokker remained as director and alleged designer of many aircraft for the Imperial German Army Air Service, including the Fokker Eindecker and the Fokker DR-1 the triplane made famous by aces such as Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron. In all, his company delivered about 700 military aircraft to the German Air Force, as well as supplying the German Navy and Austria-Hungary. It is alleged that Britain offered Fokker a large sum of money if he would leave Germany and build aircraft for the Allies. Fokker worked closely with an accomplished military pilot, Otto Parcio, to bring the Eindecker into military use. Fokker was a skilled pilot, demonstrating his aircraft on many occasions. Max Immelmann, later to become a high-scoring flying ace with the Eindecker, commented in a letter in June 1915 that Fokker especially amazed us with his skill. While Fokker was a talented and bold pilot, his business character was more flawed. He could be bad-tempered and insensitive, as when he verbally abused his dying designer Martin Kreutzer in June 1916 after Kreutzer had crashed the prototype Fokker D1. Kreutzer was able to give a verbal report on the accident before he died. Shoddy workmanship due to poor supervision and quality control at the Fokker factory were to blame for accidents with the Fokker D1 triplanes in 1917 and EVD8 monoplane in 1918. It is a myth that Fokker invented the interrupter gear fitted to World War I German fighters that allowed them to fire through the propellers. He was heavily involved, evidence pointing to a synchronization device having been in development with Fokker's company for perhaps six months. Additionally, there were patents filed in France, Germany and Austria-Hungary as far back as 1910 which show a very similar device to that designed by Fokker. 
When incorporated into the famous Fokker Eindecker, its use directly led to a phase of German air superiority known as the Fokker Scourge. The first Fokker interrupters remain unreliable and were prone to failures. Both Oswald Bolke and Max Immelmann survived failures which resulted from propellers being shot off and even engines pulled out of their mountings due to the engine becoming unbalanced by the loss of the propeller. Fokker fled to the Netherlands to avoid being charged by the Germans for the failure of the Fokker D1 triplanes and EVD8 monoplane. There he started a new company, the Dutch Aircraft Factory, predecessor to the Fokker Aircraft Company. He managed to smuggle six goods trains worth of military aircraft and spare parts out of Germany across the German-Dutch border. The trains included 220 aeroplanes, more than 400 aero engines and much other material. This initial stock enabled him to quickly set up shop but his focus shifted from military to civil aircraft, including the very successful Fokker F7 3M trimotor. About 1926, Fokker moved to the United States. Here he established the North American branch of his company, the Atlantic Aircraft Corporation. The daring exploits of pilots flying Fokker aircraft promoted the company. The trimotor Josephine Ford took Richard E. Byrd and Floyd Bennett over the North Pole on the 9th of May 1926. In June 1928, Amelia Earhart crossed the Atlantic to Wales in a Fokker trimotor as a passenger. And in 1930, Charles Kingsford Smith circumnavigated the globe in the Fokker Southern Cross. Fokker's Dutch and American companies were at the peak of their success in the late 1920s but he lost control by going public. In 1929, General Motors took over Fokker Aircraft Corporation of America and merged it in the General Aviation Corporation. Neville Shute, in 1934, negotiated with Fokker for a manufacturing license agreement for Airspeed Limited in England and found him genial, shrewd and helpful. But he was already a sick man. Fokker died at aged 49 in New York in 1939. In 1941, his factory in the Netherlands was taken over by the Germans. After World War II, the company was cash strapped and it wasn't until 1955 that they entered the civilian airline market with the F-27, becoming the world's best-selling turboprop. In 1967, their first jet airliner, the F-28 Fellowship, took to the air. In 1985, the Fokker 50, an improved version of the Fokker F-27, had its maiden flight. In 1986, the Fokker 100, based on the F-28, followed. Then followed financial decline as the company struggled until bankruptcy was declared on the 15th of March 1996. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Thank you.